We're in a tight spot. We are supposed to be patrolling, but it's just occurred to me that as tagged up as we are, look at these injuries. Holy shit. None of them are treated. Almost everybody's dead. Like entirely. Like look at these hit points. Holy crap. Wow. Yeah, Harry, but you can't be on the front line. Wow, look at the lack of hit points. So we'll put our most wounded guys right here in the back line in the middle. Everyone else who is reasonably in okay shape has to be on the front lines. Holy crap. It's bad, boys. Bad. So. This mission has been pretty much a disaster. <laughs> How do we get back on the rails here? First and foremost, let's just finish this mission that we're on. If we can just get through it at all, I'll be pleased. Now, I wanted to just bed down for a day to give us some rest, but we keep getting attacked. We're out of tools. Are there any more tools to buy? There's nothing more to buy. We need to get to Berkhaven. First things first, let's just sell some of the junk we don't need. We don't need all of these bows and arrows. I won't be using these rusty nasal helmet with rusty mail because 9 fatigue for 140 armor is not worth it as far as I'm concerned. We don't need that or that. No one has the fatigue to use this just yet. No one has yet attack value to be able to use these arming swords, so I'm going to keep the boar spears up front. Look at that, 53 attack, 59, 50, 72 on Ulrich is amazing. He's our main fighter and we need him to keep doing well. That's why he's going to use this hand axe. Great dependable damage there. As these lads go up to at least 65, then they can start using swords and other weapons. Okay, so let's get going. We've got a decent amount of food, decent amount of medicinal supplies, money as well. Tools are the problem. Well, we've bought all the tools out here. We've hired everyone here we need to. We need to get to Berkhaven. Now, uh, you'd think patrol the road to Berkhaven, but that's going to take a day. We're almost guaranteed to get attacked. Let's cut straight across if we can. I suspect we might have to go through the marshes and like that. Whatever it is, we'll just take the shortest road we can to Berkhaven. Hard to avoid any fights. Because we are in no shape, way, shape, or form able to fight. I'm doubly annoyed if you saw at the end of the last episode, we got attacked by those six ambushes. And I think it's just because we were on the left-hand side of the city. It didn't count towards the heads that we had were collecting. That's cost us 300-something gold. Anyway. So this Herbalist's Grove is, I believe, attached to Grafenhaven. Good, because we're going to need more medicinal supplies. Another problem we have is that we are all so horribly wounded that if there is a temple here, we can easily spend all of our money just to heal everybody. Look at this, 230, 460. <laughs> What's the worst one? Melee defense and initiative, that's fine. Hit points, we can't have that. Max fatigue, max fatigue and hit points, let's treat the infection. Melee skill, range skill, damage inflicted, that's fine. Kettlemond. Melee skill, range skill, that's fine. I don't think we can justify spending anymore. Unless. Look, we're going to get about a thousand gold out of completing this mission. And we are sitting on 700 gold in these two arming swords, which we aren't really even using. First things first, though more medical supplies and more tools. Press on. I'm, I'm super tempted to just. Man, what's Corey's fatigue sitting at? 55. We cannot afford to spend any more for the moment. I also want to hire at least one more person. I'm just going to keep an eye out for a tailor because I'd love to get a tailor. Hopefully, turn those two dire wolf uh, pelts into some armor. Uh, 
Evening, Skulder. Just looking back at last night's uh, streaming we did, the XCOM mission, where I left it in a horrible spot by accidentally launching a mission before we finished infiltrating, and then we had this patrol, which was just disastrous. We need to get things back on track. We need to get the 13th Legion back in shape. There's no bueno <laughs> currently. <laughs> this is so not good. Guys, yeah, so I think we now we just have to patrol back to, I think it was Grafenhaven. I don't really want to fish. Messenger is not bad actually. I mean, only seven per day and higher max fatigue. Brave Robber, higher resolve is nice. Resolve can make a, a good sergeant, but I don't believe we particularly need one. I mean, we did get a we did get a bit of a break though. Our sergeant, what was his name again? Kittleman. His permanent injury was brain damage, which has actually increased his resolve. So we're going to keep throwing points into his resolve. I might have to take a student at level after I've taken gifted. I'll take student, and then we can take. Really, the troops, and we'll just keep buffing his resolve as much as we can. <sighs> Look at the state of all of these troops. Okay, at the very least, we need to just camp up here until the next morning. Get all our our gear repaired. That's nice and cheap. Buy like that. You know what? We only need another one more day. What can I get away with selling here? As long as we have six daggers. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Okay, we need that. We need the axes. Hmm. <laughs> it's nice. I think by, by turning someone into a Lord Skulder, then they know, we know that they're marked for death. Lord Skulder the fifth. Uh, I forget what your title is, remind me. You know what, let's not, let's not get distracted. We just need to, f ooh, hello. Need to finish this. While keeping everybody alive. We can squeeze out an extra little bit of fatigue here. But if memory serves, I think Harry Burt needs to be a frontliner. But... Hmm. Who can I move to the front line? Probably Skull Day, he's got... Enchant for melee defense and hit points. Decent frontline stats. I want to keep Harry Bert alive with his right. Although, no, of course, he was going to be the superstar. Okay, scratch that. Yeah, that's it. Harry Bert, you go back to the front. Oof, this will hopefully heal soon. We can actually do better than, than this padded leather here. Okay, good. So, I need another recruit, but I think we should finish this mission first. We're okay for food, we're okay for supplies. What's our daily rate? Our daily rate is 106. If we just sell something, we should be able to get it up to two days. We'll need to, we need to sell something for five gold and stuff. Get rid of get and get. There we go. How long do we need to reply everything? 14 hours. So let's say we'll set out uh, at night. That should give enough time to repair everything <sighs> and for us to heal up. Skull to the laggy, indeed. <coughs> but since uh, since you had uh, Saint Saint Ethernet cable visit your abode, you are called Skull to the laggy no more. Well, you'll be the mildly laggy. Is this going to be healed? One to four days. One to th I can actually live a couple of these injuries. Make sure we have enough 60 to 20 medical supplies. Okay, good. If I can get medical supplies reasonably priced. No, 350, that's not reasonably priced. We've just paid the lads. Oh, wait a second. Is it the afternoon? Evening. Well, we had two days worth of fires left. What happened? Alright, I think we have to sell one of these arming swords. 
just to yeah, pay for everyone's wages. Yeah, let's get going. I'm pretty sure everyone is fully healed now. I want to see full hit points. Good. Armor is armor is repaired. Let's get back and this mission in. We could technically take one more fight, but let's not end fight. We'll get 60 times 13 plus 260, so it's nearly a thousand for completing this. Right, hence. Expect us to get attacked by some horrible bloody gobbos. Busty little fuckers. I was watching. Well, I was doing the editing for the last couple of episodes. And I think it all kind of went wrong in episode 10 where I got overconfident. So episodes 7, 8, and 9 went so exceptionally well, and then I got way too overconfident. And that caused us to take on orcs where we shouldn't have. And this patrol mission, I believe, is a house affiliated one, which is why it's why it's so so difficult. Note to self, we have to keep doing just you call it's called a thousand and forty. Where it's just over Okay, we should just keep doing one skull missions until we have at least level fours all up front, fours and fives, and level threes at the back. And a full twelve man squad. Back to grinding. You can feel uh, duly chastised by our performance. How much is all going to cost? It's like 240, 300, 400 odd. Okay, cool. Let's pay to have everybody, all these wounds treated, get us back into fighting shape. Hopefully, by the next day. I might even sell that arming sword, because I mean, none of these guys have the skills ready to use them. No, 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 no. hang on, hang on. Gonna have new faces come in here. Let's get the armor ready for the replacements. <coughs> so we'll hire one more lad for now and then we'll consolidate with the 10 man squad. I kinda wanna head north and see if I can get a farmhand. Or a tailor. Of these peddlers. No, peddlers are just irritating. I could pick up the grave robber with his high resolve. Uh, Shall we rest up until we're all healed, and then we'll take this one skull. Ooh. Nice. Cory and Harry Bell are having a bit of arm wrestling contest. It's all in good fun, having apparently been born out of an argument on whether fishermen or farmers are more important on whose food is best or some such thing. With a long retelling of the history of his father's tilling the soils of the land, Cory puts the last of his strength into pinning Harry Bird's arm. Both men get up and clap one another on the shoulders. That's awesome. So, two of them are in good spirit, and Cory is now known as Cory the Farmhand. And was a born a mercenary. That's awesome. Nice little bit of flavor. I like that. Cory the Farmhand. Cool. Uh, it was midday. Let's wait until day 49 morning. Take if all these. Oh, well, good. All the wounds are gone. Sweet. Apparently while I was doing storytelling there, these missions popped up. Follow the footprints of thieves and return the item. <coughs> Let's do it. For pay. 190 and 320. I want more on completion. Fine. He drives a hard bargain. Busted. I accept. You know what? We may as well take someone here. Caravan hands are a bit expensive. Mm, we don't need someone with resolve. He'd be... Potentially good, um, potentially good sergeant, but we've already got an excellent sergeant. I might pick up Radolf, give us 10, and then numbers 11 and 12 can be a tailor and one other person who's very good. Do I have any other day tailors? I think they all died in the recent. Oh no, here we got one here already. I suppose it makes. Oh, we got another one. I suppose it makes sense to try to get one of every class. Should we pick up a peddler? I mean, why not? These peddlers can sometimes have higher ranged defense and higher ranged skill. I know. Welcome aboard. What do you got? Superstitious? Hmm, that's not good. Gluttonous? Eh. 35? Oh, not very good. I like the fatigue. 
He has got a penchant for melee skills, so just a pikeman then. Welcome aboard. No one else at the back. I'm tempted to make Skulder an archer, but mm, no. We'll see how he levels up. If he keeps giving rolling ones on melee skill and multiple high numbers on range skill, we might, but I know once we level him up, he can go pretty much anywhere. Right. Have a drink. And follow those tracks. East of Grafenhaven. Home of arcane knowledge, so it might be a necromancer, hopefully not. Evening super, evening Raji. <coughs> oh, thieves. Many thugs and a few marksmen. Great. That's what we needed. <laughs> Something a bit easier. Let's wait for night time and hit these guys at night. Does anybody have enough fatigue to justify using light shield? Wow, Harry Bear, you need more fatigue, mate. 90, oh, beautiful. Look at that. 91. Three. What a beast. Dusk. It's night time. Get him, lads. Get him. Bandits. This little employer had thought. They look scared. Presumably understanding that Helston, the wise's well paid rough, is about to descend upon them. Get him. These are just thugs, so we can actually move into them. No need to let them come to us, really. Wouldn't mind getting that dagger off that lad. As always, when there's archers, the priority is going to be to close into the archers and murder them. Being that the archers are such horribly irritating bastards. Take this dude out. Well struck, Ulrich. <laughs> nice! Get wrecked. Corey, I want you to take a look, see if you can spot any of the boxmen. Hey, there he is. Bastard. Nice. Attack this guy with a sword, he's more likely to hit. That sword has plus 10 to hit on every swing. Should be alright for these boxmen. Ouchie. It is at night. Ammon blast. Get him, Skulder. Suck. I know. Get him. Well struck, you guy. Welcome aboard. Cheeky bastard. Marking up. That worry. Well, Rick, make choppy choppy. Oh, get decapitated! That is so metal, and two of these guys are not fleeing. <laughs> Bit of miss, you bastard. Miss. It helps if you, if you instruct the raiders what to do. The other nice thing is, with this guy fleeing, Corey can just ignore him and leave his own control without taking reaction shot. Just close in on those two. Harry Bird, this lad's more of a threat. Kill him. Oh, nice work, Harry Bird. Can I still move and get a stab off it? On this lad, I can. Elder, well, well struck. Two head. Nice. Abs are doing the business. Uh, I'd love to go there for heart advantage, but I want to mark up both of these guys and make sure they don't escape. <sighs> Ooh. Actually, no one's in range. Ah, you suck. Ow, oh, good god! Dagger stabs are actually pretty <laughs> dangerous. Get him, lads. Get him. You know. Hold 
to mop up the reminders here. This shouldn't be too challenging. Shouldn't. Like, given my recent track record, I shouldn't be taking anything for granted. Dabbing. Who was that? Corey. Fine shot. <laughs> well, Strike Harry, but he's only level 1 and he's hit most of his shots. I have high hopes for him. I still want to get some dogs. If I can find an armored dog, I'd love to buy one. But they are so expensive, they're 400 gold. I have seen them as cheap as 250 before, but that's. You have to get them then from a city that really likes you. Quite popular with. Okay, let me bring it home. Well done. Lovely work. Decent XP. Tight gear, but we'll flog most of it. I'll hang on to that basic crossbow. Very bad. You up. Don't need resolve because we're going to go for a sergeant. Take. That and that. Ooh, and gifted. Wanna give us a nice big plus five. Okay, plus four will do. And just keep packing on the fatigue, I mean. Maybe I should be taking ranged defense instead because Eichmann. And even when he moves to the front front line we'll be getting uh they're called kite sh uh, heater shields, which have extra melee defense, so we'll be focusing on range defense. You know what? No, no, no. Me melee, melee defense is better. Just side that damn dagger. Fine robust tea with blueberry honey. Oh, that sounds nice. I could do with some of that. Okay, radio. I might, might want to swap out this dagger for one of the notched blades because you squeeze out and uh, uh, wait point. Oh, that's not what I meant. Quite the same. Okay. No. This is 20 to 30, 15 to 35. Okay, maximum fatigue minus 3. Okay, never mind. So, weapon wise, you, Egil, keep using your heavy crossbow. And I think we established no one else here really has any sort of aptitude. Although, with 37 aim, I know, you may as well. I mean, if we, if we get lucky and he, and he keeps leveling up, might be a candidate for an archer. I mean, he doesn't have very good melee skill at all. Oh, there, I think means more likely he'll level up that way. Okay. Nice, simple mission. Just what we needed. Get ourselves back in the swing of things. Hmm. Money. Coins well deserved, indeed. Sell the junk we don't need. At one of these bows. I'll hang on to one short bow uh, for a little bit later. If I have someone with a decent ranged skill. I don't need all these daggers, do I? We've got one, two, three, four, five men up front. All with daggers. Let's flog two of them. I want to squeeze out every bit of cash that I can. I hope to be able to get these arming swords, flails, and axes onto the front line, lads. But none of them have the accuracy for it just yet. 250, that's actually tempting. It's not that's, that's not too bad a price. Excellent. Excellent. Do I need that padded leather? I think I do. Now we've got a blotched gambeson, which we can chuck on another backline lad. Just remember to keep an eye out for a tailor if we can find a tailor. Take the next job. What have we got here? He 
deliver some particular cargo to Grolfist. Uh, caravan guards for a time here? Yeah, sure, how much are we talking about? 440, sweet. But well, I want more. 530, I accept, wonderful. I need some time because I know we took a little bit of damage there. Specifically, Corey. I'll tell you what, let's just hang around until night time. And then we'll set off. You know, our rangers aren't that great, so we can fight at night. Just keep an eye on Corey. I mean, look, his, his, his side is treated. I'll just wait till his hit points are full, then we'll set off. <sighs> Not sure how long it'll take to heal that, that many hit points. Heck, as soon as it hits afternoon. Oh, hello. What's that? Ah, that's enough hit points. Set off. I don't want to lose this contract. Another thing worth remembering is if we can buy anything, because we're going to be. Every village you pass through, you can actually buy trade goods and sell them on at the next village. We don't have anything really that we can buy here and sell there above cost price. Right, off we go. The girl fest. Orcs incoming, I can just feel it. Lots of hello, hello. What is that? Not after us. Oh God, Go goblins! You click on the village as you go past it, you can go in. But the village is all closed now, so I can't do anything. Oh God, goblins! Uh, please don't be wolf riders. Okay. Skirmishes. I don't mind that, actually. I can get those... Ooh, I'd love to get that pike. That would be wonderful. Six of them. It's probably three skirmishes and three ambushes. And hand, you fool. Go forward. But there's going to be no uh, setting up of spear walls. We're just going to move forward and stab these little green shits in the face. Yeah, um, oh, you little turd. I really want to get that guy off that height advantage. Potentially closing on whatever's behind us here. Yeah, off you go. Bitch. I should be able to get Ulrich up there, or even Poohhead. Nice. And a stab. Good stabbing. This also lets us close everybody else in. Is Ulrich still going to go? Yes, he acts in seven turns, so I can actually wait with Kettlemond. Hello, hello. There we go. There, that's what I was worried about. Oh, thank goodness for that shield. I couldn't get a stab on this lad on this turn. Harry Burt, so I'll just wait here. Next turn. Up. Actually, wants Scalder to help with these little buggers here. Well, Rick is in contact with three goblins, so he needs to keep his shield up. If all three of them attack him, he'll be in real trouble. The crap thing is, these goblins have such high uh, initi initiative, so they almost always go first. And poison you. <laughs> oh, you bastard! Oh, useless. I have that in hand. I want to focus on... You know what? Whatever. We'll just kill whatever. Can... Whenever I fight goblins with tactical... Thinking just goes out the <laughs> goes out the window. I just want to kill the little bastards. Hate them. Break free. Come on. Oh god, and he's poisoned, so he can't even try twice. Bad. It's cold to stay where you are because you're behind Corey. I mean I'm tempted to move up to try to get a stab on these goblins, but then Golder. Worth mm, 110 armor. I want to close in to melee on this guy. Or I think they have fast hands. That's no, more important you close in to melee range. Wherever we can. 
I know, you can't get a stabby stab this turn, can you? Wait. Oh, get him. Come on, Ulrich. Nice. Yes, lads. At least these little effers are going down quick. Uh, uh. Those little those stabs are super scary. I have to pick up some of their weapons, particularly that goblin pike. I really want the goblin pike. Mm. Awesome. Well struck, friends. Onward. Charge, get him. Lies, almost dead. That little bugger needs to be killed as well. Ooh, see, this is why you get bandages. Removes bleeding status effect, removes fresh cut artery and cut neck vein injury. He's actually going to suffer five hit points for two more turns. He'll suffer two more hit points. Ten more hit point damage. I could just let him keep bleeding. Uh, nah. Stop the bleeding. Just thinking about whether it was worth spending essentially the 25 gold it would cost to buy more bandages to save those 10 hit points of damage. I think it is. Oh, you! Goblin Ambusher has killed Lord Skulder. Look at out of nowhere, look at that. Oh, Jesus. Skulder's body hit for 32. Dab guts. Skulder's morale is now steady. <laughs> Poison, body hit for 25. Unbelievable. These little, just out of nowhere, they can just straight up kill someone like that. So this will be Lord Skulder the Sixth now. <sighs> These little goblins with their daggers are so dangerous because they just go straight through the armor. But then again, this this is just what I knew what was going to happen when I took uh, Fast Adaption at level 1 and Gifted at level 2. It used to be that I would take Colossus at level 1 with the extra hit points and resistance to those type of wounds, which would have made more likely that we survived there. <sighs> it just makes getting your lads up to level 3 more difficult, but once they get there, and they get Colossus, then it's not so bad. Ah, oh, damn it. That's one thing we've learned. If you name, if you name a soldier Lord Skulder, you may as well make the title Dead Meat. Don't tell me this little green turd is going to get away. At least we'll get the armor and weapon that Skulder was using. I mean, it didn't get damaged at all. You know what? Just let him run. We can't catch that little bastard. God, I hate goblins. <laughs> His armor didn't even take a scratch. Oh, well, we got the extra jagged pike, so that's nice. Ah, rip. Rip Lord Skulder. Very bad. Fast adaption. Plus three. Yep, yeah, boy. This guy's gonna be good. I can feel it. Let's give him hit points. I want him to survive. He must survive. No one's gonna take resolve now because we're gonna have a dedicated sergeant. Now you need more fatigue. Hegel will take a range wherever possible. Nice. Range defense is important. And some hit points as God, goblins. I hate goblins. They are the worst. I have a few bits of fatigue there. We need another... Oh, God, we need another replacement. Because <sighs> we can actually switch out to Daggered Pikes for almost everyone. Switch out this padded one for a nasal helmet. Oh, 69, almost. You know what? I think 70. Want that for sure. Give him one extra swing. Excellent. 
expanded it. Onward, brave trading caravan. Get into this village. Nope, they're close enough to it. I expect us to be attacked at least one more time, maybe in a maybe another two times. Oh no, here we are, we're right here. Nice. Need a tailor. Ooh, I definitely want to hire that farmhand. I don't want to hire any farmhands. A miller. Mm. I could hire this miller and then just save the 12th spot. Actually, you know what? No, we'll, we'll, we'll leave this farmhand. He'll be a frontline guy. We will buy a tailor as soon as we can find one, and then we'll save up and buy a poacher uh, as, a, as a decent archer. I think it's time to start buying heater shields, wherever it's reasonably practicable, but at almost 400 gold, that's not practicable. That's too expensive. Way too expensive. As ever, we'll turn down these three skull missions. They would be suicidal. But, back to work. It just feels like we keep making one step forward and then we suffer one step back. Damn losses. And I felt like I were doing everything right in that last mission. No. But to be fair though, to, to just get one of your soldiers two shot with a dagger from full hit points, that's that, that's veteran difficulty for you. That's just going to happen sometimes. And that was with a shield as well. You nasty little effers. A oh, wild man is tempting. High resolve, high hit points, high max fatigue, but 11 per day is super expensive. Ooh, this is tempting. This poacher is reasonably affordable as well. We get him? Let's get him. Okay, Lars, what have you got? Oh, that's Winrick. Where's Lars? He's insecure. Eh, but he is impatient. And he doesn't have stars for anything. Ah, that sucks. I now can pick up his usual skill as a pikeman. Uh, Winrick will be on the front line. Lars will be an archer. Only 46 though. I think I'll give him crossbow instead. Once your ranged guys have at least... Oh, hang on. 46. Yeah, you can use the bigger crossbow. Engel has such crap skills. So as I was saying, I tend to not give short bows out until the archer in question has at least, I'd say, 55 aim. He's like, Bolt has plus 15 chance to hit, minus 3 per tile. Whereas Quick Shot has 0% chance to hit, this one has plus 10 to hit, minus 2 per tile. Just... Wait a second, maybe for our guy with 46 hit points, because they've got the damage values. 40, 60. 30-50. 30 50. Okay, it's the same. But the crossbow is better. Don't want anything that impedes his vision. That's all fine. And Winrick. Oh, look at that wonderful fatigue. I might actually keep him on the back line just until he gets a couple of levels. Or we just man up and chuck him in the front line. We don't have a good a, a good weapon for him. Which of the spear uses? You know what? Poohhead, you can start going up to bombing sword. Boom. Okay, I like this though. Plus melee and range defense. Minus melee damage. Meh. Could we arguably make him an archer? I mean, he's not going to be a better archer than Lars. The defense is nice, the melee damage is 15%, it's not too bad. And high hit points, high max fatigue. He'll be fine, he'll be just fine on the front line, I think. Right. Got ourselves a little squad together, we've almost got 12 lads. Just need a tailor. And we're in good shape. 
Don't need that, don't need that, or that, or that. Our archers are still crap. We'll definitely get more bows before we can start using bows on our archers. <sighs> Who can I justify giving this bullhook to on the back line? 53, 55. How can you be so rubbish, Einar? My oh, word. If he doesn't roll high on the next few level ups, we just have to fire him. He is terrible. Yeah, none of the backline guys have enough melee skill that I can justify giving them that bull hook. They'll just miss every time if they're swinging at 55%. But, let's take a little break here, and when we come back, we will take on whatever this job is. Pan and Vela. We'll also have to uh, keep an eye out for a, a tailor if we can get one. I dare say it, but we're back on the road to recovery. And we're not going to name any of our guys Lord Skulder, because they'll be certainly dead. <laughs> 